Thank you. Um, I guess my question for you is I feel very disconnected in a spiritual sense um, where I've grown up my entire life feeling very connected. And it's sort of been recently um, within the past like couple years. Uh, so, the, feel... so, so would you acknowledge, we'll be very brief in our interruption. Would, so would you acknowledge that before you were responding to a condition that has changed and now you're responding to a different condition? In other words, does it feel to you, what do you think, how do you account for the change in the last couple of years? Um, I'm not really quite sure. Um, all growing up, I feel like I would go through peaks of like intense like spiritual study and uh, exploration and then I'd go through lulls where it would sort of wouldn't be on my mind I wouldn't think about it, and that's okay and I'm fine with that so uh, I think well, how are you evaluating your success at at the spiritual alignment how what criteria are you using to say you had it and and then that you are using to say that you don't have it so more of a sense of manifestation um, I've always been able to manifest very very quickly um, and then recently, things haven't been as quick, which is okay because I've learned a lot of really amazing, wonderful things along the way. And of course, I've had this expectation I'd be further along on my path than I am now. Well, that's the, that's the perhaps the most detrimental right. acknowledgement that I should be doing something different than I am. It's the, the self-evaluation and taking score in a negative way but your answers are really pleasing to us that you are living and observing and living and observing and it's the way life is unfolding that is helping you make this statement that I have lived in my life at times when I was doing better but the thing that happens as you move along through life more is that the more exposure to the more life you have the more detailed your asking is and so it is as simple as so contrast causes you to ask and you're usually not a vibrational match to what you're asking for initially but then you usually figure it out because you want it and you focus on it and so without even knowing what you're doing you can line up with it and now there's no gap between what you're asking for and how you feel about it in other words your expectation comes into alignment by whatever criteria you've imposed upon it and so now you are accepting of the possibility of it and now you receive the manifestation and you also get another set of not contrasting experiences that cause you to ask for yet more that you are in the beginning not a vibrational match to but you usually find a way of lining up with it and so what happens is as you live more life you keep parlaying your desires out there and you can as humans you can do a pretty good job of keeping up with what you're asking for oh we're about to have a really good conversation here you do you can do a pretty good job of keeping up with what you're asking for by assigning physical attributes to it in other words I want more money so that requires an education so I get an education and that requires a good job market but now I can't control the job market and so it breaks down at some point you kind of get a sense of what we're talking about so as long as you are controlling circumstances in order to trust that you're in the place that you need to be to a certain extent you can control circumstances but the longer you live the greater your dreams and aspirations are the longer you live the more you are asking for for things that you can't explain through action or behavior and that's when you begin consciously realizing that you're wanting to dig a little deeper to alignment we hear people all the time people just like you who want to talk about forgiveness and they want to talk about unconditional love but they have to this point never heard it to the degree that we talked about it today in other words if you have received and we believe you have and absorbed and we believe you have this new discussion about tending to your vibration and not creating the condition that blocks the energy flow then you're through this already you see it's just that little piece of information that is necessary 
we're talking about the the world of creating through action as compared to the world of creating through attraction we're talking about the world of creating through action as compared to the world of creating through deliberate vibration so of course you can create a lot through action you can get a shovel and you can dig dirt and you can move things around and you can move things from place to place and nobody can deny that there's a whole lot of action going on and that that activity is part of the changing of the face of things there's no question about that but it's minuscule paltry mediocre creation in comparison with the forming of a deliberate vibrational point of attraction and allowing the orchestration of the laws of the universe to actualize on your behalf whole different world of creating so people stand back and they look at the variety of creators and masters are around you all the time those who get hold of an idea who don't wrestle it to the ground and kill it who keep it alive who keep their own counsel and don't talk to others who will talk them out of it who just keep believing in their desire and then the universe responds to them and you say oh wow look at that master and then you call that master or that creator lucky or freaky and later on you call them greedy because they man but it's the, we're talking about when when you enlist and flow this energy that creates worlds toward the things that matter to you only then will you be satisfied you see so what we just heard you say is I've been doing great and I've been applying a lot of action and I've been finding my way along the spiritual path but I am really ready to discover what the true leverage of alignment is that's what we hear you saying yeah that's accurate yeah so these are good times these are good times so so you flow and you watch and you flow and you watch and you you adjust what you're flowing we've been sort of dancing around this but the the really practical application of this is when you wake up in the morning that's your best opportunity to set the vibrational tone for the rest of your life might not make it till breakfast but that's the best opportunity <laughs> for you to set the vibrational tone for the rest of your life and it's important to note that while you slept all momentum ceased so it's your best chance of getting off on the foot that you want to so what we would do is we would acknowledge how many things are going well Esther has been doing a lot of different things in the morning but the in or with this alignment in mind but recently she's just been making a list of the things that are so evident and well-being in her life just a, a book of positive aspects but it's 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 astonishing how long the list is and how by sitting and writing it and acknowledging it how good it feels to write it and how much momentum is happening as a result of just pondering the things that are working the things that are working the things that feel good because it creates an environment that just brings more and tomorrow the list is longer and more and tomorrow the list is longer so it's just a, a steadily increasing current list of evidence of you standing in this spotlight of well-being you see yeah we loved having explained to all of you that there are three steps and that step one you sifted through a lot of contrast and you put a whole lot in your vortex and now it's time for you to cash in that vibrational currency of what you put into your vortex and that's what you're doing something more no that's all we think this is a really good time for a segment of refreshing